And boom, we're on our way. I'm about to go in for surgery. Brow lift, brow bone shaving, rhinoplasty. I'm very, very swollen. Hi, all of my pretty hot and tasties. It's Eureka here, all the way from season nine and 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race. And we are doing New York City Drag Con September 28th, 29th, and 30th. Make sure you get your tickets at RuPaul'sDragCon.com and come see the Elephant Queen. What are you gonna be? Hi, everybody. My name is Kwana Star. I am Canada's premier drunken, stone slutty, drop dead gorgeous, post operative transgendered recording artist. <laughs> coming at you live, and I'm ready to wow you. I'm Ryan Turner, and I'm best friends with Kwana Styles, and the husband of Raja Gemini. And we went to Guadalajara to get her face like I this. I got a new face, honey. I grew up as a Little boy in a very small, remote northern community. I always felt out of place in my own skin. I was always made to feel weaker or less than everybody else. It took a while to realize I was fabulous. Actually, it was really hard. Transitioning in high school is no f***ing cakewalk. Like, I know I might make it look good, but honey, it was a struggle. I remember meeting at a bar in Toronto, Ontario, and just having a good cackle together, and then we hit it off, and then we were besties for life. B F F F F S. Best friends forever. Facial feminization surgery. I'm sharing my story because I want it to be a positive, uplifting realization for any youth or anybody out there going through a transition or even whatever like stuff you, you may be going through you in your it. own life that you can get through and come out on top of. Yes, I had some struggles. Yes, it wasn't the easiest thing to grow up in the wrong body in a small, remote northern community. But you know what? Everything I went through as worth it. So I went to the Innovair Clinic in Guadalajara, Mexico. Some bitches thought I was crazy being like, you're going where? Why? I was ready to go on my own, and then I talked with Ryan, and he was like, you ain't going alone. I was honored to be able to go with Kwana to Guadalajara to have this surgery and become part of it, because it's not something that everyone experiences every single day. We stayed in a recovery house with other trans human beings that were going through similar things, so we had people to like relate with. And it was cheaper. It's like, let's keep it real, honey. I saved some dollars. Less expensive, not cheaper. Whatever, I look good. Do I look cheap? <laughs> Do I look cheap? Sometimes. Fuck off. Shut up, Shut up bitch. bitch. <laughs> so I bought a camera, I got a new computer, and I was like, I in the back of my mind, I knew that I had was sharing the story for a purpose. So we get on the flight to Guadalajara. We had not yet touched, Eight. and we know, shh, <laughs> pause. We had not yet touched the camera, some kind of Canon thing, and we figured it out on the plane how to use this camera. Okay. We are recording right now. Hey guys, here's me without a stitch of makeup. Literally without a, a stitch, stitch of, of makeup. makeup. Okay, take a look at this face, you guys. I know what you're thinking. I don't need any work, but why not? Also, before this all even happened, we went through security and we had to take our shoes off, our jackets off, our bags off, our belts off, our everything's off, and I was wearing a white jump one suit that made me look like I was naked. He looked like he was wearing nothing. All right, well, camera, it's working. We're off to a good start. We'll see you when we get a drink. Take it to the runway, the runway. <laughs> take it to the runway, the runway. First of all, there were not very many things to watch on this plane other than what they chose to show us. Ew. I want you to feed me like that later, Ryan. After my surgery, look, that's me after surgery. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a men's and a women's washroom. They're separate. Uh huh. And she yelled at me for going in the women's washroom, but I said, "Bitch, a toilet's a toilet." And then she told me to get on my way out. <laughs> to me, a toilet is a toilet. They both are exactly the same, and I just needed to use it. By the time we got on the plane, we were a bit lit. I needed this air sickness bag, because I'm what? Sickening. <laughs> What's that sign say, Ryan? Quana trans op. Quana trans Way to call her out. Nobody else had signs outing them as trans. Maybe it's just transportation, right? Trans. 
Transportation. <laughs> we didn't know I was gonna get blood work done when I landed in Guadalajara. Girl, I didn't know we were going to get blood work done straight out of the airport. Straight out of the airport. Shit. After a beer. Surprise! Juana, do you want blood transfusions? No. no. It was weird, because we flew in at like midnight. Our first stop is getting our blood work done for tomorrow. Then nails, I hope. Oh, don't show my nails <laughs> on camera. <laughs> Love a man in a mask. I'd like to keep it on, please. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it. What I knew when we got to Guadalajara is the way we were picked up and where we arrived to was very comfortable and very welcoming. So this is the place that I'll be staying and I'll show you guys more inside. Bathroom, water, alarm, TV, air conditioning, closet. Where can I put my wigs? <laughs> right here, baby. Before I had had my surgery, there's a book full of all of the clients and patients of the Innovare Clinic. This is the book from all of the other girls that have stayed here. And it's really comforting to read this because they all seem to have really heard their stay. And I had this big idea in my head. I'm like, before I leave this place, I'm going to write the most heartfelt story. I'm going to let these girls know it's okay. I'm gonna let them know that they can get through this too, and that it's all gonna be worth it in the end. What I ended up writing in the book was XOXQ Hearts. <laughs> so this is the book of all the previous people who have stayed here. Get the ball! Go get the ball! Go get the ball! So cute. I'm not really a big fan of animals. I love to eat them. Obviously. We are on our way to the market here in Guadalajara. We had done some shopping, and then we got to a point where we realized that like the language barrier was gonna come, um, what's gonna basically be a problem. We called my friend up who lives there, and we told him, girl, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna eat, we're gonna have some drinks, and then you're gonna come and help us shop. Yay, like my friend Dan found us. Hey. I'm so excited to see him. I think shops are in order. Thank goodness he was there because he took us to like the real legit market. Look at the corn. Corn. I need some dresses. And this market is giving me life, honey. So adorbs. All right, so I just literally shopped the fucking house down, honey. I got all kinds of stuff. I'll show you guys later. All the shit. I got all the things. Then I had my consultation and honestly, I was freaking out a little bit. I am just about to go have my consult with Dr. Cardenas at the Innover Clinic here in Guadalajara. I'll be back tomorrow, um, first thing in the morning, bright and early. Girl, I was going through it. I didn't want to film nothing. And it's a lot different, right, between being like, I'm going there or I'm doing this. And then when you sit down there and you have a doctor showing you with a mirror and a little metal thing of like, we're gonna cut your ear from here to here. And when they're explaining all of this shit, I swear to God, my face probably went white. That's right, classic surgeon of the year, honey. So I had my consult done here. We just finished up and everything is a go for tomorrow. When I was freaking out and I really wasn't open to filming and I was like not open to sharing that moment because I was just so in my feelings, you guys, like I just couldn't. Like it wasn't a thought in my mind to be like, oh, let's turn on the camera. Until I had this moment where with my dad where I called him and told him I'm freaking out and then he was like, well, no, you're freaking out. You're changing your face. You're getting surgery. And when he said it to me, and I heard it, I was like, wow, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, basically, he just told me that he loved me and that everything was gonna be okay and it's just really what I needed to hear. And then from the night before till the morning of, the attitude completely changed. Okay, so I just got checked in at the Innovare Clinic and I'm about to go in. So it's the last time you'll see this face looking like this anyways. Wish me luck, I love you guys. I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm excited. Eee! 
Oh my god, you guys, look at these cute little hospital slippers. Yes, honey. Cute. So I just put on my hospital robe and a little hairnet and I'm about to go in for surgery. So, yeah. I don't even really want us to say, let's do the damn thing. Right before I went in for my surgery, it was hard for me to process the feelings because I was excited about it and I felt like it was something I had dreamt about for so long. I ain't saying that I needed to get my face done to feel this type of way. I'm just lucky enough that I am that I was able to do it. But whether or not I had had this surgery does not make me or anybody else, like whole or complete. Like you exactly. don't need this surgery to be a whole or complete person or to complete your transition. Like you can be exactly how you are and be a woman or be a whatever, or be a this or be a, a that or be a zebra if you want to be a zebra. <laughs> All right, so I'm just about to talk with the anesthesiologist. Do you mind being on camera? Yeah. So, hi. hi Look at how beautiful she is. Look at, she's in high heels. Work girl. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Will I see you again or no? Yes, I see. You. Okay. When I get I'm up. I'm the first and the last one person that you see. Okay. okay? Thank see you. you. I honestly was like a little bit scared at that point, and I remember um, bits of it. It's kind of blurry. What procedure are you going to have done? I'm getting my hairline done. Brow lift brow bone shaving, rhinoplasty, and fat grafted from my stomach to my lips. Speaking about your family, parents or brothers or sisters, anyone with cancer? No. Diabetes? No. They're all just crazy. Just crazy? <laughs> so I am about to have my IV put in. The next thing I remember is waking up. I and mean, the first thing she asked the nurses was for a couple shots of tequila and she wanted to turn up tonight and could we go out. I wanted to know where the nearest drag bar was. And if we could open her Tinder. What day is this? Two? So, two. I left the hospital earlier today. And I've just been hanging out. The pain's not so been so bad, but I've had an upset stomach, I think, from all the medication. That and the lipo. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was a little high on pain meds, and I had forgot that I had the fat grafted from my stomach. So no sh it hurt. Today is day three post-op healing. I'm feeling a lot more swollen today, which, yeah, open those curtains, honey. Uh, I'm feeling a lot more swollen. I can see a lot more swelling, so I'm hoping later today I can go for more of the laser therapy at Innovare. Um, but let me see. Uh, I'm swelling up. I'm swelling up. Uh, I don't have as much energy as I did yesterday, I don't think. I think yesterday I was just mainly excited to be out of the hospital. And also they had all that morphine pumped in me. There was a little button I could push. I pushed that button out. I might have worn that button through. I don't know if I pushed that button so much in Vancouver, they, they would have cut me off at some point. But I'm pretty sure every time they're like, give it to her or shut her up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I woke up to a, uh, a lovely comment from myself, Michelle Vistage. So that made my day. Thank you, girl. So uh, Ryan's gonna help me clean my stitches now across my head. Staples. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. And I'm so glad Ryan's here with me because um, there's how many different medications am I on? Oh my God, I can't even count. There's so many medications and it's hard to keep track like because I'm on them. So thank God he's been here. It's nearly impossible to pay attention to taking these medications, let alone what you're taking, how often you have to take them, what you're taking, what it's for. I, to be honest, won't even try and pronounce the names of them because I'll get it wrong for sure. And I think there was at least seven to 10 that were at six hours, at three hours, once a day, twice a day, blah, 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 blah. Can you see the stitches in my head, girl? These ones are staples, baby. Staples. Very real. Too real. Right, don't I look puffier? A little bit. Yeah, I think today is gonna be a say something hat day. 
do nothing day. Head wrap. Head wrap, head wrap. We have this thing under my nose, right? But it makes it look kind of worse than it was, but it was just basically to keep my nose was um, leaking a lot. It's it dirty, so we have to um, change it every now and then. It was leaking a bunch of gross I've been having to learn how to basically like <clears throat> drink and eat without breathing through my nose, which is an acquired skill, <laughs> let me tell you. My mouth got dried out, I got real bitchy, I was very over it, and there were times that I felt like a trooper, like when I think like, oh my God, you did a photo shoot six days after. But there's other times when I look at this and I'm like, that was rough. There she goes, she got a lice pack on her face. How do you feel, Kwana? I feel sexual. <laughs> You're hot. Thank you. You got love it, live it, eat it, love it, face, face, serving you fractured nose, pose. <laughs> I'm giving you pose, fractured, fractured nose. <laughs> I'm giving you hits, I'm giving you life. <laughs> that was probably the best laugh we had all week. Well, yeah, I think that was the highlight of the day for sure, definitely. The day for sure, Definitely yeah. highlight of the day. So it is day four, post-op after my surgery. We're back at the Inver Clinic for some laser light therapy help. Um, it's healing and bruising and swelling on my face. Very, very swollen. I feel very happy. I feel better than I did yesterday. I haven't been able to breathe through my mouth, I mean through my nose, so I can only breathe through my mouth, which is making my mouth extremely dry. And um, yeah, so that's getting a little bit annoying. It's one thing to like have your nose plugged and have to eat like that and everything like that, but because it was so many days built up, my mouth had become so dry. I think it was it like a it, sandpaper condom in my mouth. That's disgusting. My mouth is super dry. I can't wait to get this cast off my nose. It's been really hard today. I felt very emotional. I've been crying a little bit. I had a couple thoughts in my mind, like passing thoughts, like, did I make the right decision? Is it worth it? It wasn't why did I do this. It was just Over questioning the if I had make the right made the right decision. Because when you look at yourself and you look and you see yourself in the mirror and it's like my cheeks were swollen out, my face was not my face. In a week or two weeks or a month from now, I know that I will probably feel like it's worth it. It just like being a tough go of things. Another reason why I felt like I was feeling my emotions extra hard on that one day was because I went off my pain meds one night thinking, oh, this is what's upsetting my stomach. Oh, genius idea. Let's stop taking the pain medication and then my stomach pain will go away. And then I woke up and I think that was one of the worst days because I felt it. Like I felt everything. I just want this off of my face. Praying for better weed to come my way. <laughs> but other than that, I guess I'm okay. And I'm so thankful I have Ryan here helping me. Hi baby, I'm rolling it up. And I feel like a buzzkill, but I'm not usually like this, so what the f ever. You're allowed. Yeah. I was like, I need some sunshine. A walk will do me good. Traveling is also- I love that the nail girl was, uh, uh, nope. had a, tattoos uh. all over her face. I was oddly attracted to her. Networking. This is my outing for the day. I'm super excited about it. And I have tattoo, I have tattoo artists. Our nail esthetician is really hot. Yeah, she's working. This place is cute. Look how cute this place is. Yes, Guadalajara. Cheers. My face was still definitely torn up when I went to go get those nails done, but I needed to get out of the house. I needed to get my life. Look at my nails. Let's do a zoom in, hold them out, do a little of this, a little claw, a little monster action. That was cute. Oh yeah. Yes, nails. Yes, honey. She's normally a head turner, but that week she was definitely oh, honey. a head turner. Yes, yes, yes. You could have walked past me without taking a double take, like, where? What? Who? Ah, ooh, huh? ah. Show the nails again on your face. Give me face, fractured nose. Yum. I am not gonna lie, we went for some drinks and had a lot of tequila, and now I feel like getting a tattoo. Me and Rye are gonna get matching ones. Right, Rye? Right, girl. 
Oh yeah, and it's on my finger. My middle finger, my favorite finger. By then, I was back on the good pain meds. It just <laughs> felt like a little tickle. It actually feels fine. I would do this all day. We're coming back tomorrow. I had gone to Mexico with this one tattoo on my hand, but I had left with all my hands done. Well, in this space, but that's different. <laughs> it's done, my little corner tattoo. After about day five, I started feeling better. I'm not gonna lie, I got f***ing drunk off tequila. Apparently a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> and I think all of these f***ers is local. Not so much fun. <laughs> Say something in Spanish. She's texting in fucking Spanish. Say, holy f her face is bruised. <laughs> I can't. Just say it. You don't even want to do anything I want to do. To get us the You know what I did? Was a little bit of tequila, bitch. And you know what? I feel so much better now. I feel so much better now. For a minute and don't oh my nose ain't rotten now Bitch I'm trying to heal it now But you can't try to read me now Oh you can't come, you can't pull me now Listen, some of us have raw talents that just out of us And some of us don't <laughs> to stay tuned for part two of, what's this show called? <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned for part two of Quantum Trans Ops.